Well, I opened a health and wellness boutique hotel in Nicaragua, uh, which is also Nicaragua's first 100% vegan hotel. My previous career was in aviation. I worked for 11 years in the industry. Um, when I quit, I was actually living in the Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, doing air operations for United Nations peacekeeping mission. A couple of years before that, I made a transition to veganism, um, like for ethical reasons. So I had started my own journey uh, when I realized that I didn't want to harm uh, animals uh, with my lifestyle, but then I realized that I wasn't paying any attention to my own welfare. And that's when I eventually decided that I wanted to go down the nutrition route. So everything that I was learning about eating plant-based, um, I wanted to share with others. So I uh, left United Nations in October 2014, and, uh, and I decided that I wanted to get an education in nutrition, but I wasn't sure where I wanted to leave, so I was looking for some online um, education because that will allow me the flexibility to go anywhere and figure out where it was that I wanted to leave after being overseas for, at that point, it was like 12 years or something like that. To me, um, it was like uh, eye-opening in many senses. From the start, I felt that it was such a warm welcome from the moment I spoke to somebody uh, uh, in enrollment. And, uh, and from then on, I, I just felt that it was a very sweet way to, to, to share knowledge, you know? So in that sense, it really uh, connected with me. I kept finding as I was going through the program that I was connecting with people, you know, whether it was for because it resonated with my own health problems or the lifestyle or the dietary theory that they were uh, teaching us about. So um, it definitely made it so easy for me to just get hooked up, you know, <laughs> even if I was also very busy doing other things and moving around because I spent that year actually just moving around, trying to see what was the location I wanted uh, to eventually open a business. Uh, so I was on the go and I was able to do everything. Also some of the business uh, tools that IIN um, provided us with, you know? And um, for me, I guess more is the confidence. Um, I guess that like me, many other people are studying this journey and not necessarily their entire family or, or group of friends are, not that they're not behind them, but they don't get it sometimes, you know? Like, my own father still, he thinks that I should sell fried chicken and beer if I want my business to, to succeed, right? So, you know, I love him to death, but you know, I, I wouldn't have counted on his support. Um, but I've always gotten that feeling from IIN of, you can do it, girl. You know, you're worth it. Of course, you can do whatever you want. And, and that's a beautiful feeling to have. The confidence that I feel um, or when you come to a live event uh, or when you're in the coaching circles, you just feel that energy and that's the most important thing. <laughs>